episode of Getting Dirty with Gwen. Just recently bought a new bike rack that I wanted to share with you. I had a Thule platform rack that I wasn't happy with. I'd had an earlier model of the exact same rack from Thule. And instead of having a dedicated inch and a quarter receiver and a dedicated two inch hitch, they combined it in one and whenever you compromise, it just wobbled all over hell, no matter how much I tightened it. So my son had a quad and I had Rack Envy. So let's go over this real quick, then I'll set the phone up so you can see how this works. But what's great about this is it does not budge at all. This is on a Ford F-150 with a two inch receiver. Um, you can tighten that up either by hand or they have an Allen wrench point right here. They have a big Allen wrench they give you. You just crank it up, a little ball bearing, big ball bearing comes out, pushes in the receiver hitch to tighten it up. Uh, what I like about this bike rack is, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you push that lever, now the bike rack comes down. So on my truck, it sits plenty high above the ground. If I'm pulling out of a parking lot, I'm not going to bottom out with this. They do have a modification where you put a hitch in here, it comes up and out um, to do that, to give you that clearance that you need if you have a smaller car. But what's great about this is uh, how everything connects. You put your bike up there, everything just connects with these ratchets. You push the button in, push it down on your front tire. Your back tire gets held in with this adjustable quick adjust strap, and it's heavy duty. They have locks right in the end here that pull out, and you just wrap it around your bike and it locks in. There's keys for that, obviously. And then you can adjust this front wheel mount through di three different angles. The, the one that's in, I believe, is neutral. Then you go down and you can go up. And I'm just putting a Trek Marlin Plus 8 uh, e-bike on here. I think my e-bike only weighs 45 pounds. Uh, so it can easily handle that. I don't know what the specs are. And I'll show you this great uh, workstation that comes on here when the bike rack is in the upright position when I put the phone up on a tripod. I also opted for the swing away arm because inside my bed I have an eight foot slide that comes out so I want to have access to that and my concern was well this is tight by itself in the truck but is it still going to be tight when you put this pivot thing in here? Well the engineers at Kuat are phenomenal. It's just this quick release thing in here makes it just as tight and everything uh, just doesn't move. It, um, they give you the locks. So there's a lock here that locks the bike rack to the pivot arm. And then they give you another lock down here that locks your pivot arm to your receiver hitch. So it's pretty simple. Everything is heavy duty. Let me come over here. You can see this hinge. They, waste, they did not spare any investment on this hinge. Uh, works fantastic. And that hinge, as you'll see when you when I put this back on the tripod, uh, this would come up 90 degrees, which clears plenty for me to open up the bed of the truck, or I think it's 120 or 130 degrees out a little bit further. Um, but it's great. I think it's fantastic. It goes in here. Let me put this back up. Actually, it's hard to do with one hand. We just push this lever here and it goes back up. Let me put this on the tripod. Okay, I'm on a tripod, and like I said, you pull this lever, and it goes up like that, up out of the way. If you want, if you have a, your bike's even on here, let's put this back down. Then there's this simple latch right here that you push down. And now this, oops. There's, let me go to the other side here. So I just bought this the other day. You pull or push this lever and it swings out, locks in position. Now, this is the extreme because they've got a pickup truck. If you have an SUV, it'll be easier. Everything clears. My sliding bed comes out, I have easy access to everything. My bikes are still over there. Way. All right, 
And like I said, if you want to go a little bit further, pull this. Side, bear with me. First day. And it swings out. It's at about another 30 degrees. All right. Squeeze that lever. Bring it back in. Comes back. I'll get on this side. Little handle goes down underneath the stainless steel knob. Pull up, and this bike is going nowhere. And it does take up a little bit more room when you add this to it. You can also tilt this, you know, go at a 45 degree angle. If you're in an SUV, you just want to pop the trunk up, push back. Because I added the pivot arm, that probably takes us a foot and a half away from. Uh, this this bike would be rack would be much closer if I didn't have the pivot on here. So that's uh, hold it, hold it, hold it. I forgot the important part of this. Let's go. If you move this little thing here, this pulls up, pulls out, puts this back in. Now you have an adjustable bike station, bike workstation. You can loosen that knob, turn it in. Bike stations there. I almost forgot this part. You're done working on your bike, maybe you're trying to clean the chain or something, or doing a minor repair. Get this back in straight. That's locked in there. Maybe. There you go. That's locked in there. Push that. Let's come back down. Lock into place. All right, almost forgot that part.